can someone who's working on post-conviction or vacating their conviction enter the U.S. to attend court for this matter? Here's what happened. I was advised that it could be denied no. with the current administration. No, you can't get a, you can't get a humanitarian visa right. to come into the United States to try to vacate a conviction that's preventing you from getting a visa in the first place. So Pretty self-serving. That's fair. Yes. It says that his criminal defense attorney made him take a plea bargain, stating that if he didn't judge on his case, the judge would get mad and turn him over to ICE. Is there anything he can do from but, home? But he did get turned over to ICE anyway. He's out of the country. Right. Well, that's what it's saying. It's like his attorney, his attorney, the plea deal. I guess something happened well, after the well, plea deal. You had no right to any proper immigration advice prior to 2011. You, your attorney could have lied his ass off to you. It wouldn't matter. Really? It's after 2011, where you have, uh, where it's a violation of your rights to not be given proper immigration advice on the consequences of your plea deal. Prior to 2011, you could try to make a va vacate the conviction anyway, and we do it, mm -hmm. but it's basically to the discretion of the judge. There's no mandate that you have to... Wow. Right. Abi Eve said, I'm a permanent resident over 21, and I went to my country in 2016. My father petitioned for me when I was 19. However, we did not have a good relationship out here in the U.S., and now he's got another family, <clears throat> and he lied to me about going back to my country just for a month. My father's a U.S. citizen. He's been here over 20 years. He thinks he can do anything for me because he petitioned for me. And the way he's treated me is verbally abusive. So how, what Does he have I a green do? card, Avi? It says he's a permanent resident. Okay. I'm so how old is this person? He is over 21. Guess what? You're an adult. Be an adult. Walk into the embassy. Apply for an SB1 visa to re-enter the United States after staying out for a period of time. Show your ties to the United States. And if your father's a jerk, then... You know, go speak to Dr. Phil. Exactly. But you got to take the bull by the horns. You're not going to sit there and be like, oh, my dad doesn't help me, so I'm going to sit here. No, you can help yourself You're 21 now. years old. Come yeah. on. Go get an SB1 visa. Vanny Boo said, what page of the tax return should be sent with the I-864, or do I just send the whole shebang? The shebang, the whole thing. The whole thing. The whole tang. Ben said, if USCIS made a typographical error on your application, what can you do if you correct the spelling? And what can you do to correct the spelling? USCIS made a typographical error on your receipt notice, I guess. So uh, when you go for your interview, you correct it with an immigration officer. Oh yeah, Wole said I was married in May of twenty nine uh, on May nineteenth of twenty fifteen. When can I file for my citizenship based on marriage? When did he get his green card? Uh, twenty fifteen. Well, married in twenty fifteen. We don't know when he got his green card. Three years, less ninety days from the time you got your green card. Oh, so I've got a follow up from uh, from Abby. We there. I didn't have the whole question. So I'm a permanent resident, over twenty one. Father, I went to my country in twenty sixteen, and my father positioned for me when I was nineteen. We didn't have good relations. Wait, wait. How does he have a green card if his father, if he went back to the country in sixteen, his father petitioned for him? 19? No, in in twenty sixteen. Uh -huh. He went back to his home country in twenty sixteen. My father petitioned for me when I was nineteen. However, we didn't have a good relationship. Okay, fine. So he kept all of my documents, passport, there we you go. You still green. walk into the U.S. Embassy. There's a record that you're a green card holder. You explain the situation. You apply for an SB1 visa. You want to return to the United States, and you have to show that you have ties and you never meant to live outside of the U.S. You may need the help of a lawyer, though. Okay, now she's also got a one-year-old son who's got a pending I-130. Well, I don't know about that. I'm telling you about Abby. First. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Brad. PJ said, I had a B1, B2 visa, and during that time, I got married in Hawaii. My spouse and kids got petitioned by her parents originally, and then I went back to the Philippines for consular processing. My wife filed the I-130 last June of 2018. USCIS received it in July, and up till now, absolutely no approval yet. My wife enrolled my kids in Medicaid as well, but is that going to affect my I-130 petition? Is it time to file a mandamus? It's time to file mandamus and get your kids off Medicaid. It's going to affect it. Lamac said, I need advice. What's the most effective ways to appeal a 2255 and certificate of appealability? The judge has denied my 2255 without even reading my affidavit, and I only have 12 days left to respond. Hire a good lawyer. Yeah. 
Fearless Michelle said, if a petitioner is not earning enough to sponsor the I-864 and there's another relative willing to do the affidavit, will the petitioner still need to do the I-864? Yes. Lauren said, I'm currently on a pending adjustment of status based on a pending adjustment of status based on marriage to a U.S. citizen from a B-2 visa. I already got my EAD card and social security card. What's next? Waiting for a green card. Okay. Interview. Adjustment. Not bad. Yeah. Jaina said, if I want to refile the I-45 after the denial due to a missing I-864, do I need to pay, the bi- pay for the biometric all over again? Yes. And do I need tax, tax transcripts or only the W-2? Get the tr- Do it all right this time. You already screwed it up the first time around. Again, this is why people have a lawyer. It ends up costing correct. you more money when you don't have a lawyer because you have to correct. refile over and over again. Correcto mundo. Just saw, that's, that's, that's all I'm saying. Lauren said, I'm on a pending visa, I'm married to a U.S. citizen, adjusting from the B-2, but my passport was stolen. What can I do? Passport with the visa in it? Yeah, it right, seems get, like get, it. Uh, apply, for a new, apply for a new passport. And you can download your I-94 arrival records on CBP website. Just Google CBP I-94. And it's a long website. I don't remember. Chrissy said, I came to the U.S. in 2013 as an H-2B worker. I went home in December and did this until 2016. I kept doing it. In January of 2017, I came on my B-2 and stayed. I got married in June of 2018, put in my paperwork in March of this year. and got I just want to say something because Lisa yeah. Bling yeah. says, I was talking to the person with no respect because there's two sides to a story mm-hmm. when children come in. He was not a child. He was 19 and a half years old. When right. he got his green card, his father sends him home some point after that. Right. You go to the army when you're 18. Right. Okay. He's living in another country now as a 20-something year old. Right. Or her. Right. With she a baby. Ha- with a baby. Yeah. You got to, at some point, you got to be an adult. Mm-hmm. Got to take that responsibility. Okay. Continue now. Thank you. So Chrissy came to the U.S. in 2013 as an H-2B worker and would go home every December. And she kept doing this uh, until 2016. But when she came over in January of 2017, she stayed on her B-2. She got married in June of 2018 and put in her paperwork in March of this year. Got an interview date for July earlier this year. The officer did not give her an answer on that date, and she still hasn't gotten one. On the day of the interview, she got a letter saying that they didn't require any more information. However, they may reschedule or give us another interview. At the bottom of the letter, it said to wait 120 days. What do you suggest? Wait 120 days, and if you still don't hear anything, call me. Alexia said, does NVC change your application submission date if you had to resend a document? Yes. Tia said, uh, my question is, what document do you have to take for the N-400 interview? Do you, uh, is it still all photocopies or are, do they need original documents? And is it three or five years of tax returns? Five years of tax returns, original documents, your passport, dispositions if, God forbid, you've been arrested, military records if you're ever in the military, but everything original. Seba said, my interview was on August 9th in Montreal, Canada, and the officer told me I was just, I just needed new medical, which I submitted on August 16th. It's now been three weeks. Uh, they've got my passport. My status is still on administrative processing, and they said it's law to stay on administrative processing. What do I do? It is law for 120 days. After that, you get me involved. Shimoy said, I'm visiting from Jamaica and I haven't overstayed on my visa. My daughter's a U.S. citizen and is 21. How long would the process be if I stayed in the U.S.? Anywhere from six months to a year and a half. Talisha said, uh, Brad, what documents do I submit with the I-130? For what? Brad, what documents do I submit with the I-130? Well, the, I-130, the, whole the question. I-130 is filed by a relative. I don't know what relative is filing, but... Proof that you're related to that relative and proof that that relative is a resident or a citizen. See, that was a great ambiguous answer to an ambiguous question. Thank you. (laughs) Miles Seven said, my friend and his spouse went to the interview today and he wanted to know if the documents that he presented to the officer were okay for him to get the green card. He said that though the interview went well, his wife couldn't answer two questions. The documents they presented were marriage certificates, photos, tax returns, bank statements, car insurance, renter's insurance, their cable bill, their electric bills, and their lease. Do you think those are going to be enough documents to support a bona fide marriage? Anna K. Moxham says go to the Magic 8 Ball for this one. Uh, you know what? I think she's absolutely right. Magic 8 Ball. Belgium Kim just listed a whole bunch of documents. Yeah. 
that seemed to be pretty seemed to be good, pretty good. Yeah. But Magic Eight Ball says it's very hazy. You're gonna have to try again. Do, oh do man. You request, ask the question again, please. Absolutely. Yeah, maybe I'll let the Magic Eight Ball listen. So the documents presented. Wife got two questions wrong at the interview. However, the documents they submitted were marriage certificate, photos, tax returns bank statements, car and renter's insurance, their cable and their electric bill, as well as their lease. Would it be okay? I don't know what questions were not asked. I wasn't at the interview. That's true. I don't know what is the documents look like other than it's a cable bill. Did you right. submit one month? Did you submit three years of it? Are both of your names on the cable bill? I don't bill? know. There's only one name on my cable bill. But, but the Magic April says yes, definitely. I received my green card a month ago. Congrats. However, I was arrested for felony charges when I was 17, but I was never convicted. I want to go ahead and travel abroad. Do you think I'm going to have any problems? No, bon voyage. Yeah, you got the green card, right? That's yes. the whole point. Ever blessed that my husband applied for a citizenship and mistakenly put his mailing address as his physical address. Can he go ahead and change it? Uh, yeah, you can you can do an AR-11 and submit it with the application. Amazing. Sheldon said, I've been in removal process for over seven years and I've been married for six now. My petition for the I-130 has been approved and I have never, uh, and I received my social and my work permit. The I-45 is still pending. I also did my biometric. I had a court date for November and it was changed now until October 2020. This is the fourth time the court date's been changed. I need to know what to do because my ex my court work permit is going to expire in April. What are they trying to do in court? He's in removal proceedings. I know, but what is he applying for in removal proceedings? This I don't know. It just says he had a court date. Okay, I don't know what's going on with your removal proceedings, so right. I need to know more. Right. Victor War said, does USCIS send bogus notifications? I got an email and text about changes to my status, but when I checked, everything seemed to be the same. Have you ever experienced this? Say it again. Biz, uh, he, Victor got an email and a text about changes to his sat status from USCIS, and then he logged on and it said everything was the same. What's going on? Immigration's screwy. How does he know what the real thing is? We don't. Damn. By the way, there's a question, why is it called the Magic 8 Ball? Because it says 8 on it. It's, yeah. It's and it's like an official, did no one play with these? I played with one yes, as a kid. exactly. I made all of my major relationship decisions with a Magic 8-Ball from years 1 through like 12. I, I asked the Magic 8-Ball if I should be a doctor or a lawyer, and here I am. Here you are, thank God. Yes. Don't ever let, Magic 8-Balls and Ouija boards. That's right. That's scary juju in there. <laughs> We've got our next question from Seba, who said, ooh, oh, so uh, Seba was wondering, just had the interview in Canada, right, in Montreal. So my husband, who's a U.S. citizen, is the pet petitioner. I'm a Canadian citizen, but I'm originally from Ethiopia. How long do you think I'm going to actually have to wait to get a visa approval? For the green card? Yeah. Uh, at least 18 months. But if, you, if it's pending more than a year, you file a mandamus. Yes, they submitted their new medical three weeks ago after oh, the oh, interview. Oh, this is for yeah, the interview. This is, yeah, mm -hmm. Again, it's 120 days. By law, they have 120 days after that. That's when you get me involved. Juliet said, my husband is going to be applying for his citizenship by January. How long will it take and when will I get my green card when the, once the I-130 is actually approved? Well, you got to wait on your husband's citizenship. It's taking generally under 12 months and then maybe hopefully another 12 months for your green card. So maybe two years from now. Jessica said, hey guys, a month ago I sent, uh, we sent all of our documents to immigration for a change of status because I originally entered on a K-1. We received a notice that said they did not accept my documents because the payment was wrong, but it was right. Even though we had to resend every document again, do we need another month to hear from them if my petition is now accepted? Yes. Damn. It's all their fault. Sandesh said, I got my green card marrying a citizen. Right now I'm divorced and engaged with my fiance. So now my question is when I file my N-400 next month, can I, do I mention that I'm engaged when I get interviewed? I don't think it's a question, are you engaged? It's a question, are you married? Is it gonna be like, could, could he be a, run into any problems? No. Boom. You're allowed to fall in love and fall out of love and fall back in love. Sheldon, aha, perfect. Um, we just found out why Sheldon is in removal proceedings. Why? Sheldon is in re removal proceedings for shoplifting. Does he have a green card, Sheldon? What is he? What wife is the, what is, the is the petition? The wife. He's married to a green uh, to a citizen, I believe. Okay, so he's filing his adjustment. So he's got to get the I one thirty bona fide marriage exemption approved. Mm -hmm. After the I one thirty bona fide marriage exemption is approved, you got to go for an interview for an I one thirty. 
then you ask the judge to terminate your proceedings, then you do an adjustment. Is that, I don't know where he's at. So now. the big problem is that right now his uh, his court date for the m removal proceedings is in October of next year, uh -huh. but his work permit's gonna expire in April. So he's worried about what he does about his work permit between renew April it. and October. Renew it. Oh, he can just renew. Yeah. Look how easy that okay. is. Boom, making dreams come true. Right. Uh, so, um, Ash said, I checked my case online for an adjustment of status and it said that the interview was scheduled. How long do I need to wait for that notice in the mail for the date? Tomorrow through three years from now. Oh gosh, do not hold your breath. Yes. And one final question right now from Jayra. She is 27 and a single parent of two kids. Uh, we are all receiving government benefits, food stamps, medical assistance, and WIC. I'm a US citizen. Will getting government benefits hurt my chances to petition for my dad? Yes. Ah, oh, damn. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.